what do you say? Hello everyone, it's all Two Man here again. Okay, so today we're going to be going over level, class rank, and battle points in Xenoblade Chronicles X. So, their experience does affect your level, your rank, and your blade level, but you won't need to worry about blade level right now. So, for your level, this just goes all the way up to 60, but class rank, it does work a bit different. So, this goes up to rank 10 for every class. Now, this means as you can keep, or you can be at max level, and you can keep ranking up different classes, but if you're at max class rank, then you can keep leveling up, but you're kind of wasting experience. So, you probably do want to level up your classes as soon as possible, that way you can keep getting new arts and skills, but there's a few issues with this, so. Battle points you do gain a bit differently, so for experience you get them from killing enemies, most major missions, or from discovering locations. Now battle points you also get them from lo or discovering locations, or opening treasure chests, or from your collectopedia, but you also get them from levels. So both your levels and class ranks give battle points, but those are also tied to experience points, so there are collectopedias in your intel here. You might find some blue orbs lying around literally everywhere so some of yours will still have these blue squares so if you actually fill these in with the items you find you will get some battle points from those immediately then if you fill in a row you'll also get more so you can always get more battle points even if you're not leveling up at the moment so for your battle points these are spent on arts and skills but one thing about experience points and battle points too, actually, that I should mention is to see I have my squad mates with me. So, squad mates, if they're with you, they gain experience, but your battle points are tied directly to you. So, say you can find a new squad mate and they'll be at like level 10, but they'll have as many battle points as you've accumulated throughout the game. So, that is an interesting thing. But you can spend your battle points on both arts or skills, but Early in the game, skills definitely do not give as much of a benefit. So, for arts, basically level 2 of every art is twice as powerful as level 1. And the effects are twice as powerful and the cooldown is lower. So, these do cost a bit more to start leveling up, but the benefits are a lot higher. Now, you will get some auras fairly, or, or fairly early in the game, but they're not very useful. And they do cost a lot to level up. So... Definitely arts that you're going to keep using are the ones you want to level right away. But there's a few issues here. So you can see these you get with Drifter. So these are for the assault rifle. Now, some of these you get from other classes. So I did level up my assault rifle arts right away. I am level 60 now, but that's what I did do. So your skills, you can start leveling these up. They don't cost too much, but you don't get too much benefit from them. But the problem I had is when you finally reach rank 10 in Drifter, I got all excited and I had just spent all of my battle points on assault rifle skills. And then of course I looked in here and it was Galactic Knight and this sounded really cool. Cycle launch was in Photon Saber and I said this is for professional. So I went straight for that and of course I lost all my assault rifle art. So you can see you do have the assault rifle and knife here. So basically any arts will carry over but only to that weapon. So any assault rifle arts would carry over to these classes, but any knife arts you would lose. Same as if you choose another class here, you would lose the assault rifle ones. Now your skills actually do carry over. You keep every skill from every class you gain, but you actually do need to be using the same weapon. And earlier in the game, your weapons are dictated by class. So. You don't want to be going and spending all your battle points on arts that you're not even going to use when you level up your class. So you can see Commando. This has dual guns and dual swords. So this does not use either of the same weapons. So if you want to go into here, you definitely don't want to use all your battle points on Drifter arts right away because they will not carry over. But if you do want to go into the assault rifle and long sword, then definitely go for the assault rifle ones right away because they're quite good. The knife, you don't actually get too much right away, but another thing, if you decide you don't like the class you went into, 
You can always change back to Drifter or another one of these as long as Drifter is ranked up to 10, which I guess it would need to be, but you will keep any skills you gained here. And say you want repair really bad for some reason, you can actually rank this up to rank 3 and then go back to Drifter and you will keep that art. Sorry, I always get those mixed up. But generally you do want to keep moving forward because this is tied to your experience and what can happen is if you're not ranking up your class is you'll get to a higher level but you won't have very good arts or skills and your classes won't be ranked up so you can actually end up being underpowered for your level so yeah definitely be cautious of where you're spending your battle points at the start because when you level up your arts it can make them a lot better but it can get to the point where you waste all of them on arts where you don't even end up using for most of the game. So that's kind of what I did, but it's not the end of the world if you do do that. You can always switch back or after a few ranks you should start getting some decent arts for the weapons you're currently, currently using. Sorry, I can't talk today. But anyways, hopefully this clears up any confusion because I know I got really lost at this part of the game and then I'd ranked up my class and changed it and yeah, I was a bit disappointed by the results at first. So yeah, hopefully you don't make the same mistake and know what to avoid here because it can be okay to rank up your skills or arts right away, but you will want to be aware of how they all carry over and how you can change your class. So. Yeah, hopefully this helps anyone picking up the game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.